Hello and welcome back to Food Tech 101. Now, here's where it gets interesting. If you are transitioning from eating meat to trying to sample more vegetarian ideas or more even more vegan ideas, then likely it is you like the taste of meat, you just either ethically don't want to eat it or you think that meat or vegetable or vegetarian lifestyle is a healthier one. So what we're going to do today is well, I'm going to make vegan pulled pork and to do that I'm going to transform this, the aubergine, a very unlikely looking vegetable for a, a dish like that, so I'm going to transform this into something that looks, smells and tastes like kind of a barbecue pulled pork. So how are we going to do that? Very very simple. First step, I've got myself four aubergines, I'm going to put them in the fork a little bit, just like that, boom, 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 And then the next step, I'm gonna bang them in the oven for 20 minutes, come back, and we'll talk you through step by step. Are you gonna pull pork, baby? Let's do it. Okay, it'll just come out of the oven. Step two now is we need to put them in a, a pot or something that, that allows you to cover them completely and cover them so they can sweat because the sweating process allows us to take the skin off easily so put two in there squash them in doesn't matter cover it up and then put these two in other things cover them up allow them to sweat come back in 20 minutes now aubergines have been steaming now for about 20 minutes maybe 10 minutes and what does okay our aubergines are now fully steamed and what it does it gives us it sort of loosens the skin, makes it easier for the skin to come off. So it's going to chop the ends off. Chop one end off. Cut down the middle, and then I'm going to peel the skin off. Okay, once you peel the skin off, the next step is to just tear these parts into strips. We're just going to the long strips. And this is what's going to give our all the pork effect. I'm going to tear all these parts. Now, so far, it doesn't look an awful lot like pulled pork, but trust me, we'll get there. So, I'm going to go ahead and tear these all new strips, and I'm going to come back for the next stage. Nearly there. What's interesting is that. Um, at this stage, it doesn't look particularly appetising, but then at the same time, how many people would look at a pile of raw meat and, and lick their lips? But what I very find interesting is the fact that already we have a very meaty-like cons consistency. I mean, it, it feels, you know, the, the squeeze, the texture, already feels very much like, uh, like a flesh. So we're nearly there. Okay. So we've torn all our aubergine, our baked aubergine, into strips. All I'm going to do now is transfer them to the pan, then we're going to go through the seasoning process. Okay, and we're back. So, all our aubergine is in strips on a baking tray. Now the next stage is to season. Now to season, I've got a number of ingredients. I've got a little bit of thyme. These are to taste really, so I'm not going to measure them out. I've got some thyme, I've got some smoked paprika, I've got some garlic granules, a few chilli flakes, and I've got some soft brown sugar. They also have a secret ingredient. Now my secret ingredient is something a bit special. When combing the internet for various resources, I came across a company called Special Ingredients and they develop a variety of different flavorings that are going to be featuring on our channel as we go and start making some really exciting uh, products. For example, one of the products we're going to be making in the next couple of weeks is um, smoked bacon rashes that look and taste like bacon. And to help me with that, for example, one of the products that I've got from, from Special Ingredients is a product called Liquid Smoke. So I've got a product called Liquid Smoke and I'm going to try that, a couple of drops in here, before I put my seasoning on, just to give a little bit of a, a smoky flavour coming through. And then we'll see how that product works out at the very end. 
Okay, so I'm going to try a few drops of the liquid smoke. Now, I've never tried it before, so I don't know what it's going to taste like, but that's the whole idea of trying things. Maybe a bit spearing. Paprika. Next, I'm going to put in some garlic. Again, quite generous amounts. Some thyme. Then I'm going to put in some sugar. And the final ingredient, a little bit of rock salt. Now, I don't want to put too much, even though pork is quite a salty meat, apparently. I'm going to mix it all together. So now, I'm going to put this in the oven for about 40 minutes, about 180, and we'll come back and ready for the final stage. So as you can see, our pulled pork, our pulled pork, uh, roasted down aubergine is out, of, is out of the oven. And you can see it's reduced down a lot because a lot of the water's gone out of it. The final stage now, well, because we do sound so much, I'm probably going to just put it onto one tray. You can see, consistency wise, it's got very much the consistency of meat now, which is what we're looking for. Let's base it out. And all I'm going to do now is add a little bit of soy sauce and mix that in. And the final part is I'm going to add some barbecue sauce. Now, we will have a video on how to make your own barbecue sauce, but for now, not everyone's got time to do that. I'm going to add some barbecue sauce. And then, I'm going to mix this up thoroughly. And it's going to go back in the oven for another 20 minutes. And all those flavours will marinate just nicely and the sugars will caramelise and we should have some nice, salty pulled pork. But without any piggy, little piggies having to die. So our pulled pork should be just about ready now. Our pulled pork. Woo! Sizzle, sizzle. Get a smell of that. That's right. Vegan pulled pork, baby. You ain't messing about it, you know. Vegan food ain't all for, for bunny rabbits. Come on. That is vegan pulled pork. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm, smells all nice. The sugars in the barbecue sauce have caramelized perfectly. We've still got the, the meat texture. A lot of the water's evaporated out, but we've got the, uh, the moisture from the sauce and the sugars. So it's got a nice, meaty texture. Uh, the seasonings smell delicious. All we need now, bang in a piece of bread. Uh, I think a bit of bread, two slices, a couple of slices, toasted on the pan, uh, a bit of coleslaw with some vegan mayonnaise. Nice plate. Mm, vegan mayonnaise. Just like that, y'all. And if you don't want to eat it right now, just cool it off, put it in a cart tight container, and this will keep in the fridge until you're ready for a good while. And that's how you make vegan pulled pork. Thanks for watching. Uh, Food Tech 101 is now on Facebook and Instagram. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. We also now have a, an email address, which is admin at foodtech101. UK. So if you have any business inquiries or any sponsorship inquiries, then you can contact me via that particular email. Thanks for watching. My name is Mr. Lightbird, but you can call me Sir. Yeah, yeah, oh, mm, mm, yeah, you're not ready, oh, oh, dab.